welcome to lifereforyou.com in the previous tutorial I've told you uh, what are portlets uh, what is the life cycle of a portlet how we can configure Jarable with uh, portlets and how we can work with the forms with the portlets in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how we can have multiple actions method in a particular controller how we can uh, call multiple action methods from a controller then how we can call a JSP directly from a JSP means for example you are in a render mode and you click over to to a link so that a particular JSP is opened for example let's con consider a menu which is having a left navigation and then on click of a particular link on the left navigation bar you want to open a particular JSP on the right side of your page so in that case what you want to do is you just want to call a JSP directly so we'll be coming to that later on first of all uh, this is my same portlet which I have been using uh, throughout my tutorial uh, this is having a controller which is having an action method which is action method sample this is my form uh, which is having an action URL and uh, if uh, we go to the front end we are having this life ray and then this uh, portlet is being landed on this welcome page and it is having a field over here which is a student name when we are submitting it uh, we are calling an action method and then that action method is being called over here and then we are setting up the from action method uh, attribute over here so that we can fetch it out over in the controller and corresponding to that we can pass out it to success.jsp uh, for example over here and then I'm saying to submit and then uh, it is being forwarding to the success.jsp so now uh, let's consider a scenario where uh, we will be having two controllers two forms let's say two forms over here on the single JSP and then corresponding to the to the form whatever I'm calling a particular action method should be called so for that uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm having this form uh, let's rename this to action variable one and let's say over here action method sample one and then let me put up the values over here and then let me give it a unique name which is fm1 and I'm gonna copy it down as it is I'm gonna add it and let's say it submit and let's say student name 2 and let's say student name 1 let's say student name 2 so uh, we are supposed to create an another action for this second form so that we can specify that this particular method you need to call so we need to rename this method over here sample 1 and then we need to create a method over here with this sample 2 cause whenever this action URL will be fired this particular method a particular method with this name will be searched over here as I have told you in my previous tutorial so I'm gonna just copy it down over here and then I'm gonna say like this and then I'm then just copy it and then rename the over here. So now let us put up one attribute also action request dot set attribute and let's say form number and let's put up over here one the same thing we will put up over here and let's say And then in our success.csp, what we are gonna do is we are gonna fetch those form number. Okay. 
So now uh, the flow will be uh, whenever a person is clicking on this uh, action uh, on this form, then action URL where one will be called, and then this method will be searched out in the controller. Then this method will be called. Then a variable, an attribute will be set over here. Form number one. Also form action true will be set it over here. It will come to do view. Form action will be searched over here then form string will be called and then success.jsp will be called corresponding to that in success.jsp from the request attribute this form number will be fetched out and it will be printed out over here once the, a person is clicking over in this action where url let's name it to two, action where url2 then sample action uh, action method sample2 will be called over here and then this form number two will be searched over here. This form action will be, and the process will be followed same for as as for uh, sample uh, action method sample one. So let's run it down over here. So I'm gonna just say over here. So we are having two forms. Uh, I have misplaced something, I guess. It's showing, yeah. So now we are having two forms over here, which is submit form one and submit form two. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna submit form first first. So, see, data has been captured successfully from the form number one. So this is calling the form number one. And if I go back, and I'm just clicking on this form, submit form two, then this particular method will be called over here, form number two success.jsp will be fetching out form number two. So this is how we can have multiple methods, action methods in a single controller. Now let's come to our second topic, which is calling a JSP directly from a JSP. So in that case, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna put up a new JSP over here, which let's call call directly dot gsp and let's put up over here hi I have been called using MVC path uh, I'm gonna tell you what is that so let's put up it some fancy way. So here you go. H1. So this is it. So to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is let me comment these things out. Okay. So to call this JSP directly, what we need to do is uh, we need to create a render URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a render URL and then the process will be the same there will be one variable which will be sample render url and then there will be one more thing over here which will be portlet param and in the portlet param we need to pass mvc path argument the param value will be mvc path and then we need to pass out the complete path of the gsp that we need to call so it will be html slash sample see this thing sample controller slash call directly dot gsp so this is it call directly dot gsp okay so changes has been done over here but we need to show it somewhere so that href equals to what I'm gonna do is let's put up scriptlets so this would be sample in the URL um, here it will be let's say click me to call directly So here you go. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to just click on this and it has been called. Hi, I have been called using MVC path. One thing to note over here is whenever you are calling a JSP directly using the render URL and then you are passing out the MVC parameter, MVC path as a parameter, there will be no calling of any method over here, whether it's to view or something else. It has been written directly over here in this uh, live reportlet. And we just need to search out MVC path. I'm sorry, it's written in the generic portlet. It should be something MVC path. No, it's not there. Well, it's written in, uh, in this generic portlet class only. So what you need to do is uh, you just need to call this uh, create a portlet render URL and then you just you need to pass the MVC path and the complete path of the JSP which uh, you want to call and then uh, just uh, call it using a link hyperlink and that will be all that particular JSP will be called so well uh, that's it for now thanks a lot for watching bye bye